Warren, who was engaged to the Austin Power star from September 2011 until they split in December 2013, died of a suspected heart attack on Friday. Sharing a photo of them together on Instagram, Hurley, 56, wrote, I feel like the sun has gone behind a cloud forever. R.I.P. My beloved Lionheart at Shane Warren 23. Her son by Steve Bing, Damien, also paid tribute and described him as a father figure. He wrote, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. SW was a father figure to me and was truly one of the best men I've ever known. My heart is broken. Thinking of and sending love to all SW's family. A minute's silence was held before Australia's matches yesterday, including at the men's test match against Pakistan in Rawalpindi. And yesterday it was announced that a stand at the Melbourne Cricket Ground will be permanently renamed the Scorn Stand. Outside, fans braved the rain to lay flowers and memorabilia, including a scuffed cricket ball bearing the words thank you, at the foot of the bronze statue of the Aussie hero. Warren took 708 test scalps, the second biggest haul in history and was named by Cricket Bible Wisdom as one of the five greatest cricketers of the 20th century. Prime Minister Scott Morrison offered to honor him with a state funeral and said, Shane was one of our greatest cricketers of all time, one of only a few that could approach the extraordinary achievements of the great Don Bradman. His humor, his passion, his irreverence, his approachability ensured he was loved by all. Australians loved him, we all did. Warren died while on holiday with friends in Thailand. He was rushed to hospital after being found in his hotel room in the luxury Samu Jana Villas resort at around 5 p.m., but was pronounced dead at 6. 53 p.m. Earlier that day he had tweeted to pay tribute to Rodney Marsh, following the former Australia wicketkeeper's death from a heart attack aged 74.